Hi, so in this very short video, I'm going to show you how you can exploit a file with the SUID set. So let's just talk about what is the SUID bit set on a file. First of all, let's run the command you see on the screen. You're going to find everything from the root of my of the server I'm on with the permission of S, the S bit, the type of the file. I'm going to divide all errors to def null so you don't see it on the screen. I'm going to run this here and you've got to get a small list of different files here that contains the SUID bit. The one we're going to use is the one called shell in this particular case. So go ahead and do a ls tag al and just copy paste this path here, put it in. As you can see right now, I'm going to push it up a bit. First of all, got the S set. Basically means that you can execute this file here called shell as the owner of the file. That is what the SUID bit is all about. <clears throat> so whenever you see a binary file or something like that with the S or you can find it by executing this command here, just write that, then you can export for something. In this particular case, this file is actually located in my home folder. Now, if I go ahead and just clear the screen and do a ls tag al one more time, you can also see that the S bit is set on that file right here. So that would be the way for you to just check it out. If we go ahead and just call this file, now this is, a, this is just one example of you calling the file and you're executing it as the user of root. So what it does this particular file here is that it executes a shell command and spawns a new shell. Because I am the user 3, not root, but it has the SUIP set, then it's gonna spawn a root shell for me in this particular case. You can see who am I? For ID, I am root. Different kind of ways can be, can be uh, you need different kind of road to approach it, depending on which kind of binary file it is, which kind of SUID bit is set. Anyways, every time, go ahead and go to the DTFO pins, put in the file name you found, let's say it's Python, and you can see that Python also have a SUID exploit, you just click it, and then you just go down here and say SUID, I'm gonna execute that command right there. Don't pay too much attention to the, to the top one here, just trying to verify whether Python is installed and stuff. However, this, this here below, execute Python, imports, spawn a shell with a higher privilege as tag P. That is the way you get higher privilege user on a system using a SUID file. Not all can be used. Go ahead and check GTFO pins, then you're gonna find it, then you're gonna exploit it, and you're probably gonna get the root shell. See you out there.